So with the release of Ethos 1.5.0, there have been some changes to the way the audio file uh, tracks work within Ethos, and there's a lot of people still hesitant to update to 1.5.0 because of the changes that were made. So on this radio here, I have it on version 1.4.17. I just have a basic model set up with my dual rates here. Metal rates, low rates, metal rates, flaps. high rates, flaps one, flaps two, flaps one, flaps up, stabilize. And Manual. some stabilized stabilize. modes Self set up. Mode. Over on the special functions, you'll see the play tracks active. that are your version 1.4 setup where it's play track as the action active condition being whatever that active condition is your file is whatever you wanted your file these are from the amber sound pack and the amber sound pack has been installed under the radio sd card audio folder you can see all of my wave files are here Now, this rates, functionality rates. has changed in 1.5, so I'm going to update the radio system, which will show you what changes have been made to the audio callout functions. So I'll switch to my PC. Here I have Ethos Suite already running I'm going to plug in the USB to the top of the radio Select Ethos Suite and I'm going to use Ethos Suite to run the 1.5 update. So for now, I'm going to pause the video until this update has completed. During the update to 1.5, you'll get this message here saying that the system audio folder is no longer used and asking if you want to remove it. You can just click OK to remove the system audio folder. And so the update is finished now. You can see everything on the radio is up to date except for my module. I'm not going to do that at this time. And I'll switch back to the webcam. And now I'll disconnect the USB cable and restart the radio. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. And as you can see, now my audio callouts are no longer working. That's because the audio callout function has changed. So under system, general, scroll down to audio, you'll see three voice lines. The first one, main, will be set to default. Voice two is blank and voice three is blank. I'll come back to these in just a few minutes. So I'll back out and go to the model setup, special functions. You can see here that the play track has changed to play audio. When I edit the first one, the action is play audio. 
the voice is set to voice one default and the play file is the same file name as I had before. So there's two ways to fix this. There's the quick and easy way, but it's not really the correct way. And then there's the little bit longer, more intensive process to fix it, but is technically the correct way to fix it. So what I'm gonna do is connect the radio to USB again. I'm going to select Ethos Suite. And on my PC, it will open up two drives One is the flash drive and one is the radio drive. Under the radio drive, which is the SD card or the internal memory of the radio, depending on which radio you're using, audio folder, you can see I still have all of my amber sounds in the audio folder location. So the quick and easy way to fix the audio callouts is to take all of these files by doing control A and unselect the English folder and you'll want to cut them or delete them entirely and reinstall but you can cut them and move them into the English audio English default folder. So when I move them here, it will ask to replace the files. I'll just skip those for now. And you'll see here now my throttle disabled for example is in the audio English default folder which is set as voice one so when I eject the radio and disconnect it from USB switch warning Metal rates, low rates, metal rates, high rates, flaps one, flaps two, flaps one, flaps up, throttle active, throttle disabled. You can see that all of my audio Stabilize. callouts are Stabilize. working again. Stabilize. But again, this is not really the correct way to fix this because now all of my audio sounds are under audio English default. Now the correct way to fix this is to actually create a separate voice file that you will select as voice2. So what I'm going to do is reconnect it by USB and show you the correct way that this is intended to be used. So I'll connect it by USB and go to Ethos Suite. Under Audio, English, I'm just going to delete this default folder. And I'm going to use Ethos Suite to Copy the audio files back to the radio by selecting Write Audio Files. So while this is copying, I'm going to pause the video again. 
Okay, so the audio files have been copied back to the radio, and I've also copied the Amber Sound Pack back to my audio folder. So I've essentially just reset back a couple steps back before I moved any of these files. Now, the correct way that this new audio callout function is supposed to work is instead of moving all of your files un into the default folder, you really should create a new folder under the English folder. And in this case, I'm going to call it Amber. And I'm going to take my audio files from the audio folder, cut them, and move them into the Amber folder that I just created. So now my audio structure looks like this. Under the radio drive, which is either your SD card or internal memory, audio, English, I have Amber with all of my Amber sound pack files, and default with the default system callout files. So again, I'm going to eject the radio, switch back to my webcam, I'll disconnect the USB and reboot the radio. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. Okay. You'll notice that my audio callouts are not working. So the correct way to fix this is to go to your system setup general scroll down to your voices and set voice 2 to amber and then now I'll back out and go to the model setup special functions and now for each of these audio callouts play audio I'm going to change the voice 1 to voice to Amber. Throttle active, throttle disabled. You can shortcut the edit by long clicking and it will go right into edit. So you go voice 2, voice 2, Voice two. Metal rates, low rates, metal rates, high rates. And do the same for all of your audio callouts. So let's say that you want to add a new audio callout to this model. You'll click on the plus icon. And for action, instead of play track, you're going to use play audio. You'll choose your active condition. Choose your amber voice sound pack or you can choose the default. It just depends on which voice you're going to be using. And at the bottom, you'll see the sequence line. And add a new line in sequence. So you click add a new line, 
and this is where you could see play file. This is the play track function. So you can choose your file, and in this case, I'll just choose breaks off. And now I'll enable this. Breaks off. Breaks off. Breaks off. So I'll add another one. Play audio. In this case, I'll just go ahead and enable it. Active condition. SA down. Voice one, I'll leave that. Add a new line in sequence. Play file. And breaks on. Breaks off. Breaks on. Breaks off. The new play audio function also covers the play value so for example I'll add a new play audio I don't have a receiver connected here but I'll choose uh, active condition on SB up add a new line in sequence play value and for the source, this is where you would no normally choose a telemetry value. In this case, I'll just choose the timer for my timer one. Zero. And since my timer is not set up on this model, it just calls zero. out the timer one zero. But you can tell it to call out your telemetry value for the re receiver battery, RSSI, altitude, GPS, or any other sensors that you may have connected with your radio. So this is just a little bit more in-depth look at the new play audio special function and how it has changed from the previous version 1.4.